TXN reported strong Q1 earnings, much better on the revenue, basically bottom line number. And you know what? We had unusual activity in there. What's unusual activity? Well, that's unusual. They were buying the June 175 calls. They paid under $4 for those calls. They traded up today as high as $9.60, $9.60. In other words, you more than doubled your money. Our subscribers were able to ride that nice wave, that chart that Jared's putting up there. They were able to ride that nice wave. That worked out pretty well, I'd say, wouldn't you, Pete? And you know, John, I'm not sure it's done. I mean, what they gave us was great earnings, great revenue, right? That was Q1. They also gave us an outlook that looked like great revenues, great earnings coming forward as well. They're pulling it up there. And we talk about analog semiconductors. What does that really mean? Automobiles, consumers, industrials. We're talking smartphones. We're talking laptops. They talked about that demand remaining high. When you look at that, some of the inventories had come down a little bit. I think there's a lot of reasons to be still very excited about Texas Instruments. It's a great move today. Got near 52-week highs, but not at the 52-week highs. Still a little bit short of that. I wouldn't be surprised if they potentially could sort of test some of those highs. Not today, not in the next week, but over you know a small period of time. I don't think this is uh, long to see new highs as well.